the line. Number one is going to be on the left hand side from my view, from the right hand side of yours. Number seven is going to be on, the, on your left hand side. Number 71 is also going to be on your left hand side. And number 140 is going to be on your right hand side. Where did the extra list come from? Everyone is getting delayed because of the slowest person determines the speed of the key signing party. We should figure out some sort of algorithm that determines the slowest yeah, person. Yeah, we, we have two rounds. One with the paranoid people who side each other very carefully, and then we run with the people who will just like check and then I'm done with it. So, why is this important to do? I think she asked you. Yeah, I know. It's like a kind of obligation to the software community to uh, to make sure that uh, the trust network is uh, is very well connected. Especially when you're traveling far, you can sign uh, people uh, who you would normally not easily meet, and so have a very good connected uh, trust network. All right, enough of the talking. Move on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even <laughs> check your Yes, it says, as is mine. Thank you. So, is this for a home video, or are you actually going to cut this together and like do some sort of? I would like to cut it together. I think there's no tape. There's no tape. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a show. I have to really? check Hello, I'm so Simon, why is it important? Why do you like to sign keys? Why do I like to sign keys? Well, it makes me actually confirm that all these people that I've like shaken hands and, and drunk beer with actually are, are real legitimate people. And that, I mean, like, if any of them actually poison me, I'll be able to know that those are their legitimate names. <laughs> Um, no, it, it's a rotating line. Okay. That's how it works. So why is it important to sign keys? So that we know that the people that we're dealing with in the community really are who they say they are, since otherwise we really don't have many opportunities to know everybody in the community in real life. So it's, a, it's an additional protection in Debian to make sure that it's basically a safety that the people that, that are working with us aren't some kind of cracker who's gotten into the key ring by lying about who they are and plans to discard the identity later after violating our system or something like that. Do you so, enjoy the key signing? Talking to people is nice and actually getting to see you know names for all the faces that I haven't been able to meet yet at, at the conference is good. Um, the actual key signing process gets very tedious. Uh, I think they really need to work on ways to trim down the actual key signing party. What does it involve? Um, basically, what we do in order to make it faster than it used to be is we do um, print out the pieces of paper and have a checksum that, that says this is the cryptographic checksum of the, the document that everybody has printed. And then it's read off before the group and everybody agrees that that's the checksum they heard. And then one by one we go through and say yes, the information for me on that piece of paper is correct and therefore you can sign it. And then we also exchange IDs, be that passports or driver's license, depending on different people's standards of ID verification for that. And I'm holding up the line now, so. Look at the camera, look at you. I don't know, because I, this is the first time I'm ever using this. I just, I'm doing it blindly, which I kind of like, because then I'll learn all the mistakes as I go along. So, so why didn't you take part in the key signing? Um, I think it's just too long, like when we have like, 175 people or 145 people it takes like almost three hours to be there so it's a time thing yeah like last year i mean i felt last year it was like one and a half hours after we started i just felt totally uh i don't know the name in spanish is agobiado uh agotado right uh, no agobiado agobiado like like claustrophobic oh, okay like feeling this this ancient and and so I just left last year, so this year I decided not to participate from the beginning. Why am I not? Because this is the first year I have a video camera and I'm trying to objectify uh, the geek world. 
<laughs> make them into a static, timeless culture um, by putting them on video. And I, I, like you, do find it a little bit exhausting and strange, but um, I actually really enjoy watching it, the key signing, mm -hmm. because it is a chance um, where everyone can meet everyone else here. And in that sense, I think they should do the key signing the first or second day. The, <clears throat> the problem that that would uh, impose to the key signing is that you haven't had the opportunity to actually meet the person and see how... True. So... Maybe more in the middle of the week? This is a little bit towards the end. <laughs> but it is pretty fun to watch. It's hard to film. <laughs> but I tried. I tried. We'll see what I'll get. But yeah, I'm there objectifying the geeks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but uh, I, I know passports, I don't know why it is. <laughs> you know German passports? You could tell a fake one from a real one? No, not really, exactly. but I would trust, but I'd probably trust more a passport than an ID. I wouldn't trust it's my all It's all just a matter of like probability. Yeah. Okay, so fingerprints yeah. okay, minus two, and you should check the yeah, ID. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I couldn't tell the country, and I think I'd check the passport.